Okay, y'all, before it gets dark out here, and I need to water too, I'm going to show y'all what happened. And I would not have known uh, what it was, but Leo told me. Okay, he came to my door and he brought me, oops, turn this around. He brought me some dishes. <laughs> Toby is such a coward. Hey, Lil. I'm, I'm coming back in. You can't come out right now. No. So, um, she's sassing me. Anyway, he said, oh, my gosh. Look at that. Now, y'all, I was like, what? the heck that is nasty and then I came down here and same thing down here just tore it up now that's all cardboard y'all anyway what Leo told me was last night he um, was um, getting up about 2.30 in the morning, and he was getting up to get some water, and he heard something outside, and then his motion detector light came on. Well, he looked outside, and there was a raccoon trying to get into their recycling. So that is what came over here, and I don't know whether he came over here first or last. But now, y'all, this is entirely my fault because I piled some stuff up out here, and I thought, okay, tomorrow morning I'm going to get up and I'm going to make my trash run. And so, um, and then, like, the kitty litter is disposable, most of it, but I had to get some from Terry yesterday. I mean, Jerry. Anyway, so I had about three bags of that, you can see. Um, I know, y'all are so excited. I share everything. But um, anyway, so the raccoons were over here. And, you know, Jerry goes, well, they can't climb over your fence. I said, Jerry, are you kidding me? Have you ever seen a raccoon? I had a raccoon right, um, no, it wasn't that property over there that I was managing. It was one right down the street, Creekwood Villas. And I was on the second floor, y'all, and the raccoon family that used to live down there by the creek, he climbed all the way up on stucco to the second floor and was banging around on my window screen. So it is easy for raccoons to get wherever they want to go. So now I got to get this cleaned up. It's starting to get dark out here. And, oh, y'all, I've just been in such a funk. <sighs> I'm serious. I hate it. I hate being in a funk like this. But it won't last for too long. We're getting a new president in a few days, and I am very excited. And I'm just praying protection over all of them. And thank goodness he's got sense enough to do the inauguration the way he's going to. That stupid Trump would have got out there and acted like, oh, don't let it scare you. It's nothing. Anyway, okay, shut up, Deborah. So, that's that. That's, that's it. That's all that's going on right now. It's been a weird day. But I guess after you've spent nearly a week in your room, Anything would be weird compared to that. So, do what I say. Be happy. Jump for joy. Count your blessings. Think about what you have and not what you don't have. And think about how dumb I am and the messes I make. And be thankful that you are not the same way. Okay? I love y'all. 
let's all hang in there and do our part and pray that these crazy people will also smarten up and do their part as well. At least some of them. <sighs> Talk to y'all later. Bye now. Google, shut my camera off. Hey Google, shut my camera off. Hey Dodo Bird, shut my camera off. Y'all, I think my Google Assistant must be asleep. <laughs> I think I'm losing my mind. Ooh. Okay, bye. Ha, ha, ha.